All right, it is time to get this little tavern on the road. Good evening, everyone. It is so nice to already see so many people. I got here like 25 minutes ago and I already could start chatting with Quirky and then it got busier and busier and busier. So nice. Good evening, Cooper, Donny Danger, Down and Dirty. And thanks so much for your membership. That is really appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Edge, Jessica, Kevin, Quirky, of course, Road. Hawk, Samuel, and Hiradev was here, and I hope I didn't miss anybody. I sh think I should have everybody named that at least left a chat message because then I know that you're here. And of course, also a big welcome to everybody else. I hope you'll all enjoy this as we are going to play. Hey, Gavin, nice of you to join us. As we are going to play a little new game, it is in early access, but I don't think you can already like buy it or get into the early access. You uh, need to have a key and the developer reached out to me offering me a key. So I said, all right, I'll try this. And if it's any good, I'll uh, I'll put it up on the channel. And um, well, here we are. I thought let's do a stream with this Tavern Manager Simulator. Now, as I'm now starting to think of this, now this is interesting. As soon as I start to play a tavern game, all of a sudden it's really busy in chat. So I guess a lot of people here are expecting some free drinks or something like that. That might have to do things. That might have to do with why it's so busy now. As long as soon as I start a game that goes around drinking, it gets a lot busier in chat. Interesting. But so nice and lovely to have you all here. So tavern manager simulator. And if I look at this map, it's nighttime now. It was daytime when I loaded up the game. It's, um, if you look at the grass and stuff, it does remind me a little bit of foundation and the graphics in foundation. It's really interesting. Also how the trees look and stuff, but this game is totally different, of course. Now I've been playing it for a little bit just to get the hang of it. And uh, we're gonna jump straight in. Now the thing is I can now just continue my game, but I cannot really load a new game. I guess if we select another profile, that should work. But I don't think this is working yet, so I can't really select another profile. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset my old game. Select that profile if I can. And now we're going to load up a brand new game. And we're going to see if this game is something for you or not. There we go. And there you already see our tavern. And uh, here we are. Finally, I have arrived. And uh, well, these are the surroundings of our tavern. And as you can see, there's something else there that we might maybe later unlock. So we can we can just walk around the map here and, and have some fun. We can see, oh, apparently there are dragons around and all these interesting things. This is like a big building plot coming soon. So there will be something that will be added later. There we see somebody walking. There's a big castle there. And on that side, a guard tower, I guess, maybe. Or is it also a castle? I think it's a guard tower. And uh, this is basically the main road where all the customers will walk by and they will stop by the tavern, see if they can get in. But now they can't because as you can see, this is kind of a shabby place. I mean, the windows are not what they're supposed to be. I think the sign could use a little rework, but uh, that's what we're all going to get to in this game. All right, let's see. There's a lot of nice flowers and we have to open the tavern doors. So let's try. Locked. I need to look from the other side. Find the entrance to the tavern. Okay. Well, we're going to take a little walk around the tavern. I can see there's still glass in the window. So that is a good thing. Is there an entrance here? Nope. Oh, here we have a well. Oh, there's a water sign here now. So it could be. Oh, cool. We can actually rotate this. And now I've made some water for us. Cool. Not going not gonna to drink it, but uh, we'll get to that. Ooh, I can go inside here, but I first need to remove the boards. Now, basically what this game does is via this little tutorial, it will tell you all the uh, game basics. So we'll just have to remove this and then we can actually get into our bar. And if you had not noticed yet, we, uh, we do play in first person. We are actually the owner of this, oh, the owner of this place. And we have to just take care of this. And there we go. Ooh, it's quite messy. Look at this. It looks like there was once a kitchen here. Everything is broken. Well, that's the right thing to put it. Everything is broken. I hope we get to rebuild all of that. That will be fun. Wasn't there a key in the water basket? <laughs> no, I don't think so. There's no key in the water basket. We uh, can open the tavern from inside. There's nothing in here. We can grab it though, but uh, I'll show that later because of course I already know what's going to happen with that. We're just going to go to the entrance now. Run, run, run. 
And we're going to open this. Hold to clean. So we have to hold this. And now this big bar goes away. And there we are. We have opened our first tavern. That's cool. I take the boards off the windows too. I think that's happened automatically now. So the boards should be fine. All right, we get a message. Tavern, keep the tavern clean and tidy up dirt on time. Some customers might become dissatisfied and even leave. Okay. You can remove small debris by clicking on it with the left mouse button. Stains on the floor can be cleaned with a mop. Open the tool menu by holding down tab to select the mop. Hold down the left mouse button to mop the floor. Well, basically it's what I do at home. I have to do some cleaning. Clear the tavern to 50%. Now, if we take a look at the outside now, the boards are still there. I wonder if we can actually take those off. Yes, we can. Good, that's a good suggestion. Down and dirty. Let's get this stuff removed so we get a nice, clean and tidy tavern. I think that will look nice. Do you have to do the same here? Yeah. I don't gonna, I'm not going to go running around the whole tavern right now. We'll do that later, I guess. But um, basically, we have to do everything in this tavern. So uh, that's very cool. This tavern definitely needs a few resident ghosts. Yeah, uh, it definitely has. All right, I don't need it now. Yeah, we don't need that. I can just brush that kind of dirt away. Okay, cool. So we can just get rid of these things by hitting the left mouse button. I believe if there are some actual stains on the floor, we will have to mop them up. But I think, yeah, right there we have a stain that we have to mop up. Well, there's a lot of stuff laying around. All right, so now I hit the tab and we get the mop up. And I just hit the button and there it goes. Okay. Kind of... Oh. And for this kind of dirt, I need a mop. Yeah, I'm already using it. Well, it's, I think it's more like a, a broom kind of thing. But okay. Oh, you can just keep hitting it. All right, I'm done. Let's get this out of the way. All right, looks better. Oh man, this is still a mess. I'm going to clean this up first because I don't want this mess, this tavern to look like a mess. Even though we already have another... Uh, another mission going now of course if you um if you have any questions suggestions hit my name so that i see it light up and i will respond to it and hopefully can answer your question but i, I have to say hmm, these are interesting graphics it's um i think it's it's simple but it's it's good for the game i mean it does look nice and it does look like some old school tavern Oh, wow, I don't know what they've been doing here, but uh, what would this be? I hope it's just water. All right, there we go. <laughs> Looks like a battlefield. Yeah, was Donnie here? I think so. I think he did some uh, some games in here. Could not think of anything else that he had done. All right. But these big piles of old trash just can't be moved. Maybe the tavern will have something to cover them with. Ah, we have so much dirt in here. We can't even get rid of it also i have to uh, put some blankets over it now here we have blankets i thought these were pillows but they're blankets oh tablecloths this seems to be exactly what i need to hide my junk <laughs> well i think you just need pants to hide your junk but that's a whole different story there we go let's see and um yay that works all right let's cover all this up so nobody will see it they won't get mad with all the uh junk that's in here and uh yay there we go is this everything i guess so look into the office oh cool i have an office now now i start to feel like a real boss oh wow it looks like this is where the old owner did something but i wasn't fast enough reading it okay interesting let's see what this is purchasing resources this is your tavern manager desk you need it to manage the tavern, replenish resources, buy furniture and decorations. Okay, this is a pretty important place. Order the necessary resources in the resource section. To add them to the cart, click plus button located down below the resource. Then hit the delivery button. Oh, that should not be too hard. Um, delivery resources. I guess we'll order some beer then. We don't have a lot of money, so I'm just going to start with 25 beer. Now, this cart should now be moving, and as soon as this is filled up, it should be there. But in the meantime, we can just do some stuff. After placing an order, wait for the cart with the resources to arrive. Receive the resources by clicking on them with the left mouse button. All resources are automatically packed in the sack. 
Take the resources back to the warehouses. Resources will automatically appear at the required workplace. Keep an eye on the resources. Okay, interesting, interesting. Patch the boss. <laughs> right now I am, yeah. But um, I see Kevin has probably been busy shouting out for other people. Very good, very good. Be sure to check out Jessica's channel. She uh, had a uh, premiere going today, not too long ago. I had to set up for this. We got, recently got home from the in-laws, so I had to set up for this. Otherwise, I would have watched it already. All right, now we can pick this up. We can put it in the warehouse. But uh, I believe she has a very good video up about how she arranged her garden and which veggies and stuff she's growing. So make sure you check that out. And of course, earlier today, we were at Donny's stream. He tried to beat his record of uh, a lot of deaths in one game, and he got close, so that was a lot of fun. Alright, just with clicking the mouse, we fixed it. Oh, we need a name now. Cool. Can I just delete this and then... Oh, yeah, I can. Alright. Um... Alright, this should be... Roadhogs, and then what will we name it? Roadhogs. Roadhogs beer in. That should be it. I hope everybody will come in. A beauty. Now I need to open my tavern. Opening and closing off the tavern. Open your tavern so that customers can enter. To do this, turn the column with the sign. Approach the column and press the left mouse button. You can change the sign whenever you want. Ah, so that's how we open and close the tavern. You can also close the tavern at any time. For example, to take care of business in the tavern without being distracted by customers. Oh, that's always a good thing. All right, well, we have to turn the sign. And now the tavern is open, so now people will come by and they will come in. So I have to rush in now and make sure that we get them some drinks and stuff. Let's see. Return to the bar. All right, so basically what we have here, this is a um, display where we can... Oh, making a drink. Click on the work table with left mouse button to start creating an order. Hold down the left mouse button to pour a mug. Release the left mouse button when the arrow is in the yellow or green area. If you spill the drink, don't forget to clean up after yourself. Ah, we also really have to clean up. That's interesting. Hey, Thomas, nice of you to join us. How are you? Retrieve the order from the stand by clicking on the order by the left mouse button. Say, serve the order to the customer by clicking on the customer's table. Strive to make high quality orders to receive tips. Ooh, I can't can get tips. So what I was saying, here we can have special things that we'll unlock later. Here's our beer tab. There's five beers in there now. And here we have our mugs. We have 10 out of 10. And uh, we're just going to get some beers ready. So now the cup is under it. I just press the left mouse button and hold it. And then in the green we stop and we've poured a good beer. If we stay under, we will for sure not get a tip. And if we go over, we have to clean up the floor because it will be spilled there. I'm just going to get all five beers ready because we're going to get customers anyway. So well, let's just do that. Let me know if the sounds are okay. If something is off or you just hear one of the things too loud, let me know. Now here we have a customer. He orders one beer. Oh, he's a big dude. I don't want to fight him. So uh, let's give him a beer. He should now be drinking it. He's happy with it. And we got 15 for it. So that's a nice price. I like that. Now he will be drinking his beer. We can just wait. And then uh, let's see if there's any customers coming in. Nope. And once he is done, he should put it down, I guess. We'll see. There's not a lot of work to do here now. So let's just wait for him to finish. That's Rodog's favorite sound. I guess that's why, that's why he's silent now. He's just enjoying all of this and opening his own beer. All right, so the customer left payment. You need to serve the guest to earn money. You can prepare the necessary orders at different workplaces. Don't forget to clear the table. Yeah, so we can now pick up the gold and also pick up the empty cup. Or that's an empty cup, but that's dirty. And we have to put that empty, dirty cup right here where we have to wash up. So we'll just place it right here. Now there's one dirty dishes that we have to do, but there's no water in there. So uh, later on, we'll get an assignment that we have to do the dishes and then we'll get the water that we already got. Let me get this lady a beer. Hello, you're welcome. I should be able to talk to them, but uh, I have to put down the tray first. Okay. What's happened? I'm asking you to leave. No. Later on, there should be customers that we can actually have conversations with. So that's interesting. 
and edge drinks free all day when Max wins a Formula One race. Oh, wow. Then Road Dog will be bankrupt very soon. Enjoy your dinner, uh, Donnie. Sorry, I missed it. I'll be missing the chat for a little bit every now and then because, uh, well, this game asks quite a lot of you. But it's fun. Dirt on the table. Sometimes customers may leave dirt on the table. Dirt damages cleanliness and prevents a new customer from sitting at the table. Ah, so we have to keep it clean. Click on the table and hold down the left mouse button to remove the dirt. Oh, that's not too hard. Let's pick up the cup. And the money. And then if we click again, we get a cloth. Or we should, yep. And now we can just wipe it. And there it's clean again. Great. We have another client. She wants a beer. Well... I already prepared a beer, so let's get another beer. There she goes. She's good with it. Great. Let's move this to the dishes. There it goes. I think I need to order more beer because we're going to get a lot of customers. Let's go over here. Let's go to the delivery. Let's order another five beer. We have the money for it now. It's en route. Oh, there's Mr. Biggie. Mr. Big Muscles, here you go, sir. There's your beer. Please enjoy it. Don't punch me in the face. Good. Ah, he's happy with it. I like that. So we have another dirty table. Let's clean that. And now we're good. So, of course, it takes a little bit of time now to actually get uh, further in the game. But right now, this is basically what the game is all about. We have to keep this tavern going. But while we go and while we do more stuff... We'll make more money, we get to unlock new things and stuff like that, which is really fun. So that's what we're aiming for right now. Ah, we have another customer that wants a beer. Of course, I'm not going to close the tavern. Oh, water. Water is needed for washing dishes and for cooking dishes. To get a bucket of water, you need a well. Yeah, we already did that, so we're going to do that. Let's take this money first before somebody steals it. I don't know if that's a thing, but... Uh Ah, just better safe than sorry. Let's get outside. Let's pick up that bucket of water that we had. Yes. And let's bring it to our little water tub here. I have to say the uh, music in game is really nice. All right. If we click this now, we should be able to do the dishes. You grab the cup. If you ran out of dishes, you won't be able to create new orders. Keep track of the amount of clean dishes and periodically wash dishes. Hold down the left mouse button on the dish to place it in the water. Move the mouse to rinse off the dirt in the water. Okay, so what I do, I pick it up, I put it in the water, then I let it go, then I pick it up again, and you just go around in the water, it gets clean. When it's done, you place it in the green area, and there we go. Now, so far in my trial game, every time I did this, if you do one cup, it basically washes two. So you don't have to really do ten cups if you have ten... Uh, dirty cups. You only have to do five times, which is which is quite good. Hire some waitresses. Yeah, they're not in the game yet, so at least not where I've played. So we'll see. Serve customers to gain reputation. You need reputation to develop the tavern. Oh, that's what we're gonna do. The more customers you serve, the more famous your tavern will become. Strive to create orders of proper quality. The quality of the order affects the reputation you will gain. For a perfect order, you also receive tips, but for a lower quality order, you lose reputation. Uh-oh. So now the um, the real stuff comes into play. I really have to perform here. All right, mister, you want a beer? Uh, let us create a couple of beers now, so that we're ready for a couple of customers. Whee! Splat! That was too much. It's actually quite hard to do this right. Don't think it's easy. One, two, three. Yep, that's another good one. Ooh, that's almost. All right, now, this is the one that splattered, the first one. You can see it's also a bit green, and that means that it's not of good quality, so we'll probably lose a little bit of reputation with that. And I now need to get my mop out to clean up this mess. Now, I also saw some footsteps arriving, and if you don't clean your tavern, they will remain. So we have to also start cleaning up this stuff so that the tavern is actually clean and people would like to come in. So there we go. All right, we have somebody else that wants a big beer. There we go. New level. Hey. We have now reputation too. That's nice. Tavern upgrade. When you reach a new level of reputation, you can upgrade the tavern if you have enough money and met all the conditions. Upgrades unlock access to new content. For example, new space, workplace, decorations, furniture. Sub-upgrades can increase your productivity. Ooh, I like that. 
I hope at some point we'll get waitresses and stuff, or waiters, I don't really care which one, as long as they do the job I have to do. Let's go check here. And let's see if we can actually do something. We have improvements here, we have a level 1 tavern. If we want the level 2 tavern, we need 50 coins. We get an expansion, new clients, new furniture, and new decorations. All right, we're going to unlock this. We should have a better tavern already now. That's great. If we want a workplace improvement on the bar, we need 50 coins, and we need 50 coins to unlock a bigger warehouse. Okay, that's nice. And we also have stuff. Oh. Oh, yeah, we unlocked a, p a place now, and now this whole area is free. So I think we can put some stuff up there. Yeah, lady, I've seen you. I'm in the middle of a cutscene. I can't do anything. All right. Oh, two people want a beer. Guess I'll have to order some new beer soon. All right, these two have a drink. Let's get this glass here. I'm going to order some new drinks. Oh, furniture. To serve more customers, buy and place furniture in the tavern. Ordered furniture will arrive to you on a cart as a resource. The furniture will appear in your inventory when you take it into the warehouse. Open your inventory using tab or I and select the furniture you want to place. Place it in an available spot for furniture. Over time, new types of furniture will become available. Great. So then we can basically expand the amount of guests that we can have. Let me get into the office first. I want to order some extra beer. Because we don't have that much, actually. Five. Let's just do ten. And let's just serve a lot of customers. So that we can make a lot of money. And then we can buy new furniture. Alright, let's get this. Let's get this. Let's bring this to the, uh, to the place right here. There we go. All right, half of our cups are in use. This is not a good one, so we might lose a little bit of reputation on this one. Ah, uh, we can have this guy, so I don't care. All right, we have to explore the tavern here. Order and receive new furniture. Yeah, we have to accumulate a little bit of money for that, I think. Picnic table. <laughs> Finally, wrong game. Yeah, it's not, um, it's not Ostriv or... Um, Planet Zoo, but we'll see what furniture we can get. Let's put this in. So now we have some extra beer. No extra customers yet. Okay. Hey, you uh, messed up my table, mate. Oh, man. Oh, we'll have to clean this then. There we go. He made a real mess. Glad I served him a bad beer. All right, let's see. Can we get some furniture? We can get a simple table for two. Okay. Let's get that delivered. I think that's good. That should also soon enough get us some new ones. What do you want? A beer. We'll get a few beers. Hopefully I can do good now. Maybe that's why you made the mess. Yeah, probably. So, Rodor, can you still handle this? Or do you uh, have to open a new bottle every time you hear this great sound? But yeah, things are bound to get uh, dirty every now and then. So I don't think there's really an influence whether you um, give the customer a bad thing or something. But it could well be that if you give them a bad drink, that they're not so inclined to... Uh... All right, let's pick this up. Let's put it in the warehouse. There we go. And now it should be in our inventory. And we should be able to place it somewhere here. Inventory. Uh, furniture. Get it. Alright, can I... Oh, I can rotate this too. Cool. Alright. Uh, Alright, let's just place it there. The table for two. Decos. You are free to decorate the tavern walls, floor, tables, or the decor in the special section on the tavern management table. Open your inventory using tab or I and select the decor you want to place. New decorations will be unlocked as you progress to the game. Okay. Well, let's give this nice, fair, pirate-looking gentleman a uh, thing. It should be nice. Can I hire bouncers? No, I don't think so. I'll use you all as bouncers, I guess. Tied myself to a chair. <laughs> that's a good one. Guess that's better. Otherwise, you'll be... Uh, 
running out of beer soon. All right, we did that. This guy's coming in, but I have to mop the floor first, sir. I should get uh, something for them to uh, wash their feet when they come in, because they all have very dirty feet. Don't need a bouncer. <laughs> yeah, I don't want a bouncer that dies all the time, so... All right, let's see. We give him a bad drink, too, so let's see... Uh... Let's see if this works out. And we have to do some dishes again. Let's go. Eight dishes. So should be four times washing and then we should be okay. So there we go. Let's wash this up. Now, of course, you can make this game as stressful as you want. I think it's actually quite a relaxing game. I mean, you can have a lot of fun. You really have to do everything. And right now we're just serving drinks. We should be able to get to some food items and stuff as well. Uh, but I really like this. This is fun. I mean, you're just playing a nice little game. You actually run your tavern. We can do some fun. Oh, I thought I had a delivery coming. I heard a nice bell, but I uh, guess that was something different. Somebody wants another beer. Okay. You get your beer. Don't worry. Don't get too upset. Yeah, this guy didn't have a good drink, but he uh, did leave a clean table. So that's good. It's a tavern road, not a lap dance club. <laughs> All right, let's pour some extra beers. Yeah, the game is not available yet. I guess you have to apply for the early access, so you could try that. It's, oh man, I want to hit the green. Oh boy, I'm so off. There we go. Well, let's get another beer out. At least these, these look quite good, so they're not as bad as the other ones. I just wiped the floor, people. Why did you make a mess again? Luckily, you can just hold the mouse button and walk over it. It should all be clean. That's good. Yes, we have another customer. Let's serve it. Then we're going to get to order and receive decoration. Okay. Let's see what we can receive in decorations then. Delivery, decorate. Oh well, um, that's not a whole lot of decorations, but it is a decoration. So let's order this uh, nice and lonely cactus. Oh man. Ah, the table there wants two beer. That means twice the money. I like that. I like this table. Hello ladies, you uh, enjoy yourself. Please don't bounce, because people will think I have a bouncer in here, and I don't, so please sit still. Alright, let's put this up here. There we go, let's clean this all out. Alright, well, I like the pace of this game, it's not too fast, I mean, we keep busy. But it's not like we're complete, completely overwhelmed by customers in our first run. I only have one beer left, though, so we should buy a couple of beers, I guess. And of course, feel free to let me know in the chat uh, whether you enjoy this. Oh, we have to wait for the cart to arrive. You can only do one delivery at a time. Let's clear the cart. So let me know what you think about the game, whether you enjoy it or not. I will send a link to this video to the developer so that they can also see this and then also hear your comments on it and your thoughts on it. Um, and of course, if you have any other questions or things, feel free to let me know. I mean, I enjoy this game and uh, it's quite fun, actually. It's uh, maybe not the high-end game that people sometimes receive, but uh, or sometimes think, uh, wait for the cart. We just had the cart. Is there another cart inbound? Nope, there's no other cart coming. Why can't I take... Oh, I guess the cart had to drive away then or something. Yep, there we go. So let me know whether you like this or not, what you would like to see in the game. That could also be interesting. Ah, a beer for this fine gentleman. You're a gentleman. No, you're a lady. Sorry, mislooked. Beer for the lady. Guess she drinks like a man. That's why I got confused. All right, here we go. Let's put this in. Oh, we have to do some dishes again. Well, there was nobody in the tavern now. Just one guest that already served. So let's do this. I want to get as much money ready so that we can upgrade the tavern, of course. Yeah, it's an interesting little game, and I can't see this game go for like 25, 30 euros. I think that's that's way too expensive. So I think this could be 
a not too expensive game and a lot of fun. It's it's interesting. You'll see that soon enough after we've done a couple of dishes we will run out of water. So we'll have to get some new water again. And of course we're going to redo this whole kitchen hopefully at some point. I haven't gotten to that far yet so can't be sure but I think that will be in. Alright let's get a couple of drinks for the ladies over there. Hit. Alright that's good. That's good. And if you are here, if you are watching this, I hope you really enjoy. Please feel free to hit that little like button that helps me out in the algorithms. Feel free to chat around. We are a bunch of nice people and I have an amazing community here. So feel free to talk to them. You won't regret it. They're lovely. But of course, you can also just lurk around a bit and have fun with that. That is no problem. We, uh, we don't mind. I did this totally wrong because the latest guest that came in I served first. But uh, I hope these ladies aren't too complaining about it. All right, there we go. Let's see. All right, we have that. We have to put up the decoration. Well, let's put up that decoration that we got. Because we got this little on the floor thing. Or at least a physical thing. There you go, cactus. You go stand there. Hope you enjoy it there. Uh, let's clean the table. That's done. Let's go to this table. I think we might be able to order something else soon already, which will be fun. Another table to clean. I think this might be a bit a bit too repetitive for me. I think so too, but it is also maybe a beginning thing. So right now we have to do a lot of the same stuff over and over again. But I think if we boost our reputation enough now, we're going to get to... Um, Stuff like food and things, and then things will, will be different. Alright, we have to order a new tavern level improvement. The bar or a stock. Oh, I think we... Oh, we can only do one, I think. Can we do two? Oh, we can unlock them both. Great. So now we have a better functional bar, apparently. I don't know what changed. I don't think... Oh, we have an extra bar spot. We now have four bar spots. Cool. So we can serve an extra customer. I see two gentlemen's coming on. And they look like they want a beer. Alright, there we go. Two beers, there you go. Uh, and we now have 15 cups instead of 10. So that's, that is good. That is good, I like that. So yeah, feel free to leave your thoughts on this game. And let's get some extra beer again. I don't want to run out. You need to keep Roadog happy. All right, let's pick this up. There you go. That is another 30 coins. All right. Buy a new tavern level. Oh, we did not buy a new level. We just got the... Um... Oh, let me see. Can we now get to the new level then? Oh, that costing me a hundred. We get an expansion, new clients, new furniture, new decorations, unique guests, something with special guests, new events, a toilet, oh, and new workplace. Uh-oh. Well, that sounds lovely, but uh, let's pour some beer first. Rodo, hold on to your seat. Don't start running. Perhaps you should close the tavern while upgrading, ordering, and washing up. Well, I guess I will do that. Um, as soon as we start to um, like really run out of stuff and we can't keep up with the guests. I think right now I'm keeping up quite okay with the guests. I mean, two more beers and everybody is served. So I guess we don't have to close yet. I can't imagine when you have like a full bar with more tables and stuff, it gets really busy. And we really have to get to a point where we um, have to close the tavern off. I don't, I don't feel like right now I need that. Although, of course, if you want me to... Oh, we have no clean water, so we'll have to get some new water. Oh, and we have a delivery waiting. I guess if I totally can't keep up anymore, it might be a good thing to do that. All right, let's get some water out of the well. This is a bit weird, by the way, but hey, it works. Let's get that water. There we go. La, 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 la. Put it in. There we are. I heard a bell. Ah, they're all done. Okay. Very good. I'll keep the I keep the, uh, the tavern open for now because that at least draws in guests and we can make more money so that we can get to the next level. 
Because I know there's food in the game, and I would love to show all of you that, of course. That would be fun. All right, we have two beers waiting. We still have some washing up to do. Yes. Oh, and I think... Yeah, I still have some cu cups on me, so let's get rid of those and watch those too. Only three more to do. I heard a little bell. That's great. That means that there's a new customer in. Let's get to that. As long as I have enough beer and as long as I can serve customers for money, we're going to stay open. Guess that's the only smart thing to do right now. All right. One. I don't know who was first. I'm going to serve the table first. You two. And then we'll pour a new drink for this lady. good drinks here you go lovely lady there's your drink 75 all right we're getting close to 100 coins now so that we can upgrade i think that's good and i do love the little bell sound that you hear as soon as a table either gets filled up or when they leave so you get notified that you have to check it out that's great i like that it's not like you get these big splashy things in your screen it's just a little notification that hey a table is ready. I like that. All right, let's get two more drinks for the lid. Two men here already. Oh, man. Why do you dress up as the same? That's weird, dude. You should not do that. Okay, well, apparently, uh, maybe there are a couple or something. I don't know. All right, we have 120. Let's get to improvements and let's unlock the next tavern level. There we go. And I'm going to order a few extra beers. can only do so many because we have a little bit of money. But uh, that should be fine. All right, a new... Ooh! Okay. So we have an outhouse now. That's cool. Well, that actually looks quite interesting. And we're going to go there. Inspect the toilet. Oh, that sounds a bit weird, but we're going to do that. We have to inspect the toilet. All right, toilet should be out here. There it is. Hello, toilet. So, wow, that's a long walk. All right, in the furniture, it's better not to leave it dirty for a long time. The stench will be terrible, I guess so. Now the tavern has a toilet. Sometimes customers will use it. A dirty restroom will damage your cleanliness. After several customers... The <laughs> <laughs> they made toilet get clogged and it needs to be cleared by clicking the light oh boy um is there anybody out there that uh, would like to um help me out with this and be on toilet duty <laughs> i don't really dig that part i guess well road dog it's your tavern you can be on toilet duty all right, there we go. Two beers for you, mister and lady. Good, good. Oh, they're happy with it. I already made another 25 bucks. Okay, we have nine beers present now. Let's pour a few so that we're ready. I think we have to make a little bit of extra money. And then we should be able to buy... S oh, wow. Some sausages. You are becoming more popular and attracting attention. Sometimes unusual customers may come to you. Someone may ask for help while others may be rowdy. Uh-oh. I need that bouncer. To talk to a client, click on them with the left mouse button. Be polite to everyone. Listen to them and serve them properly. Okay. I will do my best. My mom's here. Says hi to everyone. Hey! Hi, Nancy. How are you? Nope, all is good. All right, there we go. We poured a couple of drinks, and this poor man wants a sausage. Oh, boy. Do I have that? What do you want? Hello, lady. Would you care have a coin for me, sir? I don't think I have the coins, but uh, we can give it. Huh, I had only 25 coins, now I gave her 30, and it still says the 25. Oh, well, that's interesting. That means I didn't pay her at all, but she's happy. <laughs> okay, interesting. Need to remember that. 
Ah, that must be some sort of little bug, but that's okay. Alright, so the mister wants a sausage. This table needs to be cleaned, otherwise we can't get guests in here. So I guess I have to order a couple of sausages. I hope I have the money for that. Let's go! Delivery. Some resources. Ah, food, sausage. Gives me five for 25. And then we do five beers to deliver. Waiting for the goods. I'm really sorry, uh, dear kind sir, but you have to wait a little. Uh, the sausages are uh, in the delivery cart. They will be here shortly in 20 seconds and then you can have your sausages. So please uh, sit down and wait for a bit. We have only two cups left, so I should also wash some dishes. We can do that while we wait for the cart. And then hopefully we can give the kind mister his sausages. One. Two. Ah. I think we have new guests in and I think the delivery is there. Let's go check that out. And the last cup. Wow, it gets so many things to do that it might soon be time to... Uh, to go and head out and close the tavern for a bit, but I don't really want to miss on stuff. All right, here we are. Here's our tavern. New quests. Prepare the sausages. Customers can order not only drinks, but also snacks. Buy resources at the store and take them to the warehouse. We just did that. Hold down the left mouse button to arrange snacks on the shelf. Okay. Well, there we go. Hanging up the sausages. We'll pick one up. We'll deliver it to the kind sir. There you go. He also wants a sausage. That's quite a biggie. I mean, look at him eating that. He must be starving. Okay, well, that's okay. I mean, everybody's welcome. You can have what you want. All right, well, we served everybody. Everybody's happy. Still day one. Reputation is three. We, we just have no money anymore. Just five, but... I guess we're doing okay, so this is nice. How much did we get for this? I guess another five. Oh, ten. Okay, very good. Why did you leave this mess? Another ten. Alright, so a beer should also be ten, I believe. But if you do a good one, you get fifteen, actually. So that's great. Let's see what they want. We can't assume they want the same, but in this case, they want two beers. It's actually quite hard work to make a bit of money in this game. I mean, we do have enough all the time to uh, to buy what we need, so we can, we can keep up with that. But uh, we're, we're not getting rich out of this. Dirty toilet! Who used my toilet? Better make sure it's not too dirty. Hey, miss, you can run away. I see you. Oh, man. What did you dump there? Oh, boy. How do I clean this? Press that to clean. And now, oh, we get another mini game. Hit. Very good. That's good. And another one. Yay. All right. It's unclogged now. Great. Happy to have done that sparkle. We have a sparkling toilet again after that lady left some toxic stuff in there. Oh, I wish I could wash my hands now, but that's not in the game, I believe. Oh, boy. When the Hulk goes off into a vicious rage and destroys everything, he's incredible. But when I do it, I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> yeah, but you're not the Incredible Cooper. That's not your name. He's named the Incredible Hulk. That's why. So we should name you the Incredible Cooper now. And then uh, maybe, maybe. <laughs> All right. There's this dude again. Sir, I've seen you over four times in my bar on the same day. You must be an alcoholic. That's not good. Oh, he's now coming for the sausage. Okay, that's okay, sir. You can have some food. But this is your second sausage today, so take it easy. We have to pay attention to these customers. I know that already. All right, eight beers left. That's good. Could get a couple of sausages, though. Gotta be AFK and visit mom for a bit. That's fine. That's fine. Have fun, Edge. Hi, mom. Take care. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. That's good. Let's wait for the cart. Is there another customer in? Yes, we have another dirty table. And what do you want? A beer. Very good. 
All the guys want sausages and the ladies drink beer. Interesting. All right, we have to do six more beers and two more sausages to get a, another mission done. So that could be interesting. <laughs> fast paced game plus fast game paced chat. Well, I, I have to say I played this game for a little bit, of course. Uh, I think about 40 minutes or something like that. And I already decided that this game is not yet ready like for a whole YouTube series where I do like 6 or 8 or 10 episodes. That's a bit too much, I think. Um, but I do like this game and I thought, well, I can do a stream with it and we can see how far we can get. And it's actually quite funny. We have three guys waiting here, so these guys want a bigger table, I guess. Maybe we can order some furniture that can help them out. We have all the drinks already. Let's see, furniture. Ooh, 50. Ah, oh, we don't have the coins for this. I want this, so we have place for four people. But we need to sell a little bit more. All right, interesting. But uh, yeah, I think this is a funny game. And I think it has a lot of potential. Especially if you can build like a very big tavern with personnel and stuff like that. I think that would be... Uh, would actually be a really cool game. And I'm, I'm not really the one for first person games. Most of you know that. I'm more for all the... Uh, city builders and stuff like that but uh, since this is peaceful at least so far no drunks in my bar yet i like this this is fun this is a great game actually i hope we can make this look even better over time oh look this even works there was nothing on it when we started oh that's so cool i have an idea i guess this is my own toilet Oh, this is the, um, I can throw items off the tray if they've gone bad or something. That's interesting. I wanted to get out here and start taking these off. So we have some cleaner and nicer looking windows. I think that will improve the whole status of the bar. At least I hope. Talking of drunks, he's back. Welcome back, Donnie. Hope you had a nice dinner. What did you have? And of course, thank you all for being here. Thanks for all the fun and laughter in the chat already. It was already so nice to talk to all of you, even before the stream started. And now we're in here having even more fun. I like it. So thanks so much. I hope you all do have a great time. Let's order that big table now. There we go, deliver. Let's wait until it's delivered. Let's uh, put this piece away there we go would be totally fun as co-op yeah well maybe they'll get to that at some point i mean it's only early access and it's um it's not even out yet so they can add a lot of stuff of course if you do enjoy this game and you want to keep your eyes on it or something then uh in the description there is a link to the steam page so that you can uh, for instance put it on your wish list and stuff like that so uh, you have an option there to uh, to wish list it so then the developers also know that you like it now of course i got this game for free the demo version this is the demo version i'm just uh, allowed by the developers to play it um but I am not biased in this way. If this was not a good game, I would have told you as well. But I do, I do enjoy this. This is nice. All right, let's place that table there. And now see, the three guys come in. That should make me some money. I have been listening intently, but dealing with YouTube view count problems at the same time. Are you streaming on your own? Ah, the Steam link. Very good. Do you have a YouTube view count problem? What's the count problem then? All right, we have to put this up. One, two, three, four. Okay, we can only put up five. We want one, two, three sausages. Let's deliver those. So at least that is done. New level. Yay. And now two beers. Let's deliver on the guests. There we go. All right, so it's really nice if you can prepare some stuff in advance because that really works. So right now, if we can get a couple of extra sausages, that would be nice. We still have some beers. Buy a new tavern level. Yeah, later. Oh, we only have 20 coins right now, so I need to make some money first. 
All right, let's get this money in. Hello, lady. What do you want? It would be nice if you could actually do a little bit more small talk or something with the customers, but... I don't think we can do a lot of uh, talking with the ladies. Yeah, see, we can't do much with them. Ah, the guys left. That should also get me some nice money. Yes, 80. You joined Pasmos and admit in your stream, though. Yeah, you did. That was awesome. I guess, though, if you have to play this in co-op mode, you have to really seek out who you play with. I mean, if you're going to play this with Rodok, he's just with his mouth underneath that little tab from the uh, big barrel there, so you won't have a good time then. He'll be just drinking all the beer, so... I guess you have to find somebody like me that doesn't drink, so you can actually make some money on this game. Just joking, of course. All right, what do you want? A beer. You can have a beer, lady. There you go. You drink your beer. There we go. Let's clean the table. The middle of the night right now. Uh, not the middle of the night. It's eight. I do like the view, though. I mean, they thought of really giving this a nice outside view. That's lovely. Ooh, the toilet's dirty again. I have to go there. Um... This is done. Oh, there's three people coming in. Boy, am I busy. Uh, yeah, we have to leave the dishes. Have to get some water soon. Let's see what they want first. That's the advantage of being the owner. <laughs> two beers and a sausage. Okay, two beers and a sausage. I have all of that. Ah, Mike, you wishlisted it. That's good to hear. How are the chicks, uh, Mike, and the hatchlings? All doing good? I hope so. I love those shorts that you put up with the uh, chickens in your... Uh, Little shed, that was cool. All right, let's start cleaning this. Ooh, that was near miss. Yeah, I know, I missed. I was also taking a zip from my drink. <laughs> That's why I failed. There we go, great. Buy a new tavern level, yeah, I will. Oh, I like it that the door is now open because now we can just get in here and walk through that's really nice and we're making some good money now i have to upgrade the tavern though so we also have to make sure that that can happen but i also need to order some stuff because we only have one sausage left i believe or two and we need more beer all right there's now five beers left i'm gonna leave it at that i'm going to deliver these two luckily we can run if you hold shift Let's put this in the dishes. Then we have to get some clean water soon. Come on. Yep, there we go. Let's order some drinks and sausages first. Delivery. Uh, what if I hold... No, can't do this fast. All right, 10 of that. Six of these. That's 80 coins. Deliver. What if I want to improve? Can I get to this level already? Oh, we already have that. Um, workplace improvement and extra hooks. And 150, then we get wood chopping and furniture. All right, 75 and 50. Extra hooks. I want those extra hooks unlocked. That's cool. This fine gentleman wants a beer. A beggar woman at the entrance, and we get a minus one. Oh, she's begging again. Oh, I don't have money now, so that's good. Hello. Yes, we'll give you coins because I don't have them. She's happy now. I don't think she's happy, actually. I think she uh, noticed that we didn't have the money, and now she's pissed. Killing my reputation. But not so nice, lady. All right, let's clean this table out. There is a game exactly like this, but there you take over a gas station. Otherwise, it's the same. Oh, really? Cool. I did not know that. Let's pour a beer for the lady. I guess there's a, a more games like this. I've also seen a, uh, a supermarket game and stuff like that. But I like the whole uh, tavern setting here. I think that's lovely. <laughs> Alright, you get a drink. What do you guys want? Three drinks. Okay. No space on the tray. Now I'm a bit scared if I put this in here that I will also lose the good drinks. No. Good. Then we know that too. All right, we'll get you your drinks. There we go. That should make me some nice money. Now we also have to get some clean water for the dishes. 
We have 15 cups. There's nine now in there. And um, I think we have four out. So we only have two cups left. That's not so good. Maybe I should uh, really... Oh boy, oh, you don't get dizzy for this. There we go. There's the watcher. Pick it up. I really hope that we can manage to keep up. Otherwise, I have to close the tavern for a bit, but I don't want to. All right, let's see. Two sausages. Do I have that or do I? Yeah, I have two sausages. There we go. One, two. Hello, dear sirs. There you go. Eat your sausages. Don't complain. Please leave a... Uh, leave a good message for me on whatever uh, place you use to uh, leave nice messages for somebody. There we go. The sausages are ready. Can't hire employees. Not yet. It's not yet. I, I think... I don't know if that's actually in the game already. Or that, that will be something that will be uh, added to it later. But so far I can't. We can always close the tavern for a little bit if we really want to do this and uh, not get bothered. I guess if we don't help some customers in time, our reputation will go down. So we have to be a little bit careful with that and make sure that we actually uh, do a good job here. And I can hear the bell going all the time, so I think there's a couple of new customers in. Let's finish this first though, because we need clean cups. We actually want to give them some stuff. There we go. Let's see. A sausage and two beer. Okay. One sausage for the lady. There you go. And only one beer. We'll get another one. I think if you could actually do this in co-op mode with the two of you, that it will be really handy because then one can just, you know, pour the drinks, get the sausages ready in, order some stuff, and the other one can go around getting all the stuff out to the customers and cleaning it up and doing the dishes or something like that. I think that could actually work. So having a co-op game would be really nice. All right, we got some good money. I need to order some stuff and maybe we can also do an upgrade. Deliveries. Let's get 10 beer and five sausages, deliver. And then we have 80 coins. I think we can get the bar level two. That we get an extra spot, I believe. Yeah, we now have a corner spot here too. Oh, but that just means it would be uh It will be more busy, so hmm, not sure if that's the right thing to do. Okay, two beers. Pretty fine, you get two beers. There we go. There's another two gents coming in. New level. Cool. Well, we're doing quite well. I just want to do some more work in this whole tavern about, like, getting the kitchen fixed and stuff, but, uh... Apparently, we're not there yet. What do you two want? One beer and a sausage. Okay, dear people. You'll get what you ask. There we go. All right. Tell a woman she's beautiful a thousand times and she'll never remember. Tell her she's fat once and she'll never forget. <laughs> well, yeah, but I don't blame her. <laughs> I would have to do a co-op, though. I'm not sure I could be entertaining on my own, plus keeping up with chat. <laughs> Yeah, that can be interesting. It's even hard for me now. It all depends on the game, of course. But, um, well, this is nice. And don't forget, people, I will be doing another stream, of course, on Wednesday. Not decided yet whether it will be Ostriff or Planet Zoo. And then on next Friday, as soon as Mana Lords comes out and I had the chance to download it, I will be streaming Mana Lords. I will not dive into the game myself. I will put it up on stream and we're going to learn it together. So hopefully that will be fun. And I already reserved a lot of time on Saturday too to do the same thing. Now that will be both during the day and during the evening. So um, I guess for a lot of people like out in America and in the States, uh, it will be uh, mostly throughout your nights that I will be streaming. And of course, once you get up and it's starting to get evening here, I will always also be there. So don't worry about it. But I will like 
If I can, I will do like six or eight hours of streaming on Saturday. So that we can familiarize ourselves with, uh, with Mana Lords. So that will be a lot of fun, I hope. So uh, you can expect that. Uh, you want a sausage, dear sir. That's fine. There you go. Please enjoy your sausage. Alright, let's get these up. So that they're ready. I believe you should also get cheese and stuff at some point. And we should also be on... Um, at some point. I don't know if we can get that yet. We don't have the money for this. But we should get like... A, we can have a boiler for soup, I think. And we also should at some point be able to get your own meat. That you have to barbecue and things like that. So... Uh, that will all be interesting, but for now we need to accumulate 150 coins to unlock the next level. Well, I would love to do that, but um, we'll have to get there first. All right, let's clean. Oops, let's clean this table so that the new guest can come in. Let's put up these cups away. Oh, Mana Lords, I'll be on vacation. Well, I will be streaming Mana Lords for a longer time, I guess, not just um those two days so um i guess you'll be able to see me uh, play some mana lords at some point because uh, it's just a great game now of course i want to warn people a little bit because i um i did two things basically i have not watched any of the um big streamers and stuff that put out uh, YouTube videos with Mana Lords. Like, I did not watch how they actually play and what they all do. So we're actually really gonna learn the game together. But I've scrolled through a few of their streams to the end and see how their games look like. And I noticed that a lot of towns kind of look the same. And that made me wonder why would that be? And that is probably because it is still an early access game. And... Um, there is just a limited amount of stuff in it. So in the end, most streamers will build the same town. And of course, they all look at each other and see each other's streams. So um, don't get too hyped for it. That will do some great, amazing stuff. I will do my best, of course. But um, I guess there, even though it looks already fantastic, the game, there's only a limited amount of stuff in it. And I'm going to have all the fun with it we're going to need. But I will also try to do things maybe sometimes a little different than the others do. Because I really want to learn and understand the game. So... We're, we're gonna see how that goes. Um, but yeah, I know there's a lot of towns looked quite alike. So hopefully... Um, we can really make distinct villages. I know that like somewhere later on in the road map you get like farming villages and mining villages and stuff. But that's all, that's all not in there. So um, hopefully that comes at some point so that we can really uh, put that in. Alright, two beers. We have only one present. it's also really tempting like if you watch players that play the game already now they will probably have learned some stuff and share some nice tips um, but if you follow those tips you'll end up of course with getting pretty much their game done that's why i really did not notice or did not watch any of those and i'm probably gonna make mistakes that other people also made but i want to learn from them myself and see if i can find nice ways to deal with those things and not just copy their tips and and do what they do so um, that's what I try to do at least. So hopefully that works and we'll have a fun experience all together learning the game. Let's see, we have to... Oh, bleh. I really hate this. I mean, I clean the toilets in our house, but um, this is different. Especially if you see that green toxic stuff coming out of there when they're done. You missed my question about what happens if you bring the customer the wrong thing. I don't think you can actually give it to them. But we can try. That's no no problem. We're going to try. Um, but I think if I like get a beer for somebody that wants a sausage, they won't accept it. So let's see. Here we have a lady that wants a beer. Let's grab a sausage. 
See, I can't, I can't deliver it. I'm trying to deliver it. I can't. So you can't give them the wrong thing. But what you can do, of course, is give them a beer that is of not good quality. But uh, that's it. Oh, I think, I think uh, Mana Lords has all the potential there is, and it will be an amazing game and stuff. But I just feel like sometimes people get a little bit too hyped with the game and already expecting the most amazing game when it's released well it's just released in early access it is not nearly done so um just be prepared for an early access game where there can be bugs where things can go a bit wrong um those things and if you keep that in mind we will all have a great and fun experience i have no doubt about it all right we'll give her the coins today and now she's happy good good so that's nice And I guess, it, I guess it's a bit like Ostriff. I mean, we already had great fun with Ostriff for years. But there was a lot missing. And slowly it's getting more filled in. And we get more and more stuff in the game. And we enjoy it even more. It was already a good game. And it gets even better all the time. But it just takes a bit of time. I thought maybe they would get angry. Oh, well, maybe. But they did not show that to me. But I don't think they will get angry. I guess if we don't deliver on time, they will leave and you will get a reputation hit. That's, that's what I guess. All right, let's get the uh, improvement out. Level four. Tavern expansion, new clients, new furniture, new decorations, unique guests, new events, new workplace, and wood chopping. All right, we have it now. Let's see, do we get another cutscene? Yeah. Ooh, look at this. The kitchen now looks better. Ooh. I think if you play early access games a lot, you know. I'm playing a lot of Sapiens. I love how new things get added over time in early access. Yeah, but uh, some people still don't really understand the concept of um, early access. What's this? Soup. We need to get vegetables and water, apparently. I need firewood. You need firewood to start a fire at the workplace. You can chop firewood with an axe. Uh-oh. Do I actually have to sw swing the axe? That's not going to go well. Take the X by clicking on it with the left mouse button. Hold down left mouse button to swing. Release the left mouse button over the log. Carry the firewood to the workplace. You can also place them in the log holder for future use. All right, I guess this is the time to close the tavern for a bit. So we have time to chop some wood and stuff. So that's what we're going to do right now. You just click it. Now it's closed. I think the cast inside will remain until uh, we serve them. Although we can't serve them because one wants food that I don't have yet. So let's create one beer for that one guest. And then we're gonna explore this whole... Oops, splat. Let's make a new one, that's better. Alright, let's try and pick up the right one. Yep. Hey, I closed the tavern. You guys get out. Go away. How can you come in if I close the tavern? Well for coming in while the tavern was closed you get one good and one poor beer sorry but that's the way it has to be let's see take a look at gas station simulator you will see how similar it is to it. i will i will can you post a link in the um in the discord so that i can just go to the store page quickly no we have to clean this all right we're gonna get this bar nice and tidy while um it's closed now I'm always amazed at single dev games. Yeah, very true, very true. They do amazing. All right, let's clean this. Let's get our bar in order and then we can go to the cooking part. Let's get the mob. Luckily, it's not an angry mob, so that helps us. Here we go. Let's put in the cups. Nope, nope, I want to put in the extra cups. There's one more coming in, I guess. I wonder how long it will take them to leave. <laughs> that would actually be fun to see. It's closed now. It says in the top left corner as well. So we really know it is closed. All right, let's go chop some wood. We can leave those guests. All right, left mouse button. There we go. Click on the X. Oh, and now we have to like swing it. And then let go. Hit. Okay, another hit. Crack. Okay. Oh, all right. And then you get a whole bundle. Cool. All right. We'll put it in the storage, I guess. Is this the storage? Yes. Great. All right. Can we now pick up 
Another piece or does it... Oh no, it puts it on. Alright, let's do another one. Oh, we have to aim a bit. Alright, there we go. Hey, dude, clean the toilet after yourself. I can see the smell from here. Oh, man. Why do people in these times have to be so messy? Alright, so we created a bit of firewood. Let's do the toilet now. Now we're gonna go to... Uh, to our uh, cooking adventure. Hopefully, Hero Dev and Jessica can help me out. I mean, they're good cooks. I'm not, so we'll see. Hey, Kilmowski! Nice of you to join us. How are you doing today? All right, we got a clean toilet now. That works. At least you can carry all the wood in one bundle. Yeah, I think so. I think if I click it now, yeah, we get one bundle so we can bring this in. Light the fire. Ooh, light my fire. Okay, there we go. We have fire now. New quest. Bring water from the well. Buy vegetables for soup. Okay, let's buy the vegetables so they have to arrive. And then we can... All right. I wish I could see how much beer we have left right now, but I don't think I can see that. How much is this? 75. All right, we'll get some extra beer. 100. Yeah, we have everything. Deliver. All right, so this should all be delivered soon. This gives me time. Oh, they're still there. So they're not really that pissed that they don't get their food. They'll stay for a while. Let's get to water. We can see the cart arriving. Doing good. That's good to hear, Kilmowski. That's great. Trying to run my own tavern here. It's hard work, but... Uh, well, hard work won't kill you, so that's good. Um, let's put the water in. There it is. And now we need the soup. All right, there we go for the soup. Save 30% at the moment on gas station simulator. Well, I got this for free, so <laughs> that saved me even more money. Okay, there we go. New quests. Prepare the soup. You can now cook soup. To cook soup, you need water, firewood, and vegetables. You can find vegetables in the store, water in the well, and you'll need to chop firewood. Well, we did all of those. While clicking the left mouse button, ignite the fire under the soup by throwing logs. Oh, we have to aim. Boy. Like, it's like a lot of minigames in here. Hold down left mouse button to drag the vegetables to the pot. Release the left mouse button to throw the vegetables into the water. Well, that makes sense. Take the ladle by clicking on it with left mouse button. Stir the soup by moving the mouse in a circle so that the arrows end up in the yellow or the green zone when the time is up. Keep an eye on its movement and do not overcook the soup. Oh, wow. This seems like it's actually hard. This is... Poo! We have to do all of this. All right, where's the... Uh, do I like find the veggies somewhere here or do I have to get them from this place here? Take a peek. Ah, the vegetables. Can I, I can't really pick them up. Are they here then? Where are my veggies? Oh, here they are, I guess. 10 balls? No. Okay. Hey, Kilmowski! Thank you so much. That is really nice. No resources left. Oh, we need 10 for a thing of soup. That tells me now. Oh boy. Delivery. Can I get five more? That's the big question. Yes, I can. Deliver. All right. Thanks so much. That's really nice of you. I really appreciate that. All right. While we wait for the um, delivery, let's pour a few beers in case we go open again. I do want to do this cooking first, though. I want to make a nice soup. I'm actually starting to think that this game really needs a co-op mode. So one can be, like, in the kitchen and... and Maybe you should run this bar with like three people. I mean, this is hard doing this all by yourself all the time. All right, there's some of the... Wow, that's how you turn a small bag into a big bag, apparently. Let's bring it in. There we go. Okay. Does it work now? Yeah, it works. Okay, so click. Let's throw in a log. Oh, hit. That works. We have to do three. <laughs> Feels kind of weird if you're sitting right in front of this and you would miss. That would be so weird. Okay. Does it matter in which order I do this? One, two, three, and four. Okay, everything is in. That worked. So now I had to stir it and keep it into the green or into the 
Oh, wait, not too fast, not too fast. Go a bit slower, please. All right, if we stir the other way, it goes a bit slower. Now we just have to keep it going. All right, all right, all right. Keep it up, keep it up. No, nope, not too hard, not too hard. Sparkle! Yeah! Did I now make good soup? Looks like it. All right, we got one soup. Oh, they're still there. Thanks for... You've unlocked all the content available in the demo. Ah. But you can keep playing as much as you want. In the full version of the game, you'll find a lot of interesting things. Cooking new dishes, hotel management, noble clients. If you enjoy the gym demo of our game, add it to your wish list on Steam. We will be very pleased to see you support. Okay. Okay. Well, we got everything done. We now have given this lady the soup. Ah, oh, she waited with the beer. How sweet. So now they can enjoy it together. That's nice. Play as you want. Okay, I will. Can we do anything else? We can get a better bar. We can improve the boiler. More hooks. Okay. Alright, so apparently this is it. Well, we got an hour and 15 minutes of gameplay out of it. That's already nice. I think we can get some extra furniture still. Oh, and now I probably have to wash those bowls as well. Oh, that means more dishes. Oh, man. Did they have, like, dishwashers back in the Middle Ages? I guess you could call them slaves, but... Um, maybe a wind-powered dishwasher. That would be nice. I mean, there will be no electricity. Oops, I lost that cup. <laughs> Luckily, we don't have to wash it again. I can just put it up there. Oh, wow, we really have to wash the bowl as well. And that really stirs the water. You see that there's an actual difference in how it stirs the water. That was cool. That was really well done. We should make a contract with your zoo pet. Let's get rid of those excess turtles. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should. Ah, oh, we did get quite a lot of turtles in there. All right. All right, let me just do a little different. I'm actually making a poll for all of you now about what we're going to do right now. Because, <laughs> of course, we can just keep playing. Or we can do something else. Now, there it should be up, so you should be able to get to that now. I'll just keep playing until the poll runs. What should we do right now? Shall we just continue with this? Should I load up my Planet Zoo? I worked on the decoration, so we can just work further on it with the um, restaurant that we're building there. Or should we play a bit of Ostrich? Because, of course, there will be no con new content in this game right now, so we'll just be continuing and... Uh, I would want to in a game. Heck, I don't like to wash dishes. <laughs> yeah, I don't like to wash dishes either. Although, I have to say, this is a funny little game. Uh, I mean, I clean the toilets in real life too, but I don't want to do it in a game, actually. But we have to do it. <laughs> it's just the way it is. So there we go. All right. Well, it's clean, so that's great. But um, if you take a look at the Steam page of this game... How can they enter? My bar should... Oh, they opened it. We opened it, of course. Ha, ah, my mistake. If you take a look at the Steam page, you will actually see a picture of uh, chopping some uh, meat and, and pounding it with a hammer and then putting it on the grill. So that will be something that will be added later, I guess, because why else would they put it in there? So there is still more to this game at some point, and I think this can uh, can give me a lot of fun. Can someone give me Jessica Wonders Garden video link? Ah, the latest... Um the latest video. Yeah, do that. Go watch that. That's fine. That's great. I'm going to watch it after this, actually. I have Discord somewhere, <laughs> but I don't use it often. Ah, well, we have a very nice Discord community. That's so lovely. So many lovely people. And of course, thank you all for being here because you're all such great and amazing and friendly and nice people. I love you all. Does she want a second beer? I thought she already had one. Can't pick this up yet because she's busy with it. 
But you can send a positive review at a depth. This is going to be in the right direction. Yeah, I will. I'm, I'm going to uh, send them a message that I uh, I did this stream. I think there's a bug going on right now because she's totally getting hammered. This is a third beer. You gotta pay for that, lady. Don't drink all my beer without. Uh... I think the game is a bit buggy now. <laughs> we'll see about this guy if he leaves or not. But uh, I will send the devs a message uh, also with the link. Oh, is she gonna go now? Wow, she drank three beers. She was thirsty. And I will send them and let them know that this is actually a great game, that we had fun with it. And I would love to see how this develops further. And uh, if it gets any further, I'll be happy to, uh, to put that into a stream or in a video. That will be lovely. Let Jessica wonders better to give you that link. Uh, others then only mods can actually put links down here in the chat so um, if we need to share a video from Jessica just make sure that you uh, one of the mods puts it in otherwise uh, we can't really do anything all right let's see chats the uh, poll is about to close I'm gonna take a look at it soon and then we'll see what we're gonna do. So if you wanna cast your vote on what we're gonna do next, continue this, play Planet Zoo or some Ostriv. Let me know. Vote now, because I will be closing it and then we'll see. But yeah, Jessica has a great channel, totally different than mine, but it's lovely, so go check it out. And if you're not a fan of peaceful games, but you like to uh, see a lot of death and destruction go check out donny danger's channel he'll play a lot of nice games some war games also the last of us and other zombie killers and stuff like that so uh, great channel and mostly games you won't find on my channel so that's a great uh i don't know how you say that in english we um complement each other in that way in, in type of game so that's really nice All right, let me take a look at the poll and end it. Let's see what the score is. I don't know yet. Let's see. Come on, bring it on. Should be in the chat now soon, I guess. Normally you get like a thing in the in the chat. Where's my poll? Oh, it's probably set to top chat and not live messages. All right, there we are. Some planets. Play some planet zoo. 85, 58%. Ostrov map 3, 23%. And continue the tavern 17%. All right. So I'm going to load up the uh, planet zoo then. So uh, let's see. I think if I just quit this, you will all just get a black screen. At least that's what should happen. I'm loading up the planet zoo already. And then soon enough, I can put that up on the stream. So that'll be nice. Thanks everybody for voting. You are all such great, nice people that you participate this way and do it all like that. All right, there we go. There we should be. Let's resume the zoo. Now I left it off a little different, of course, because I worked on the decorations as I always do when uh, we had a stream. I do some of the decorations around the zoo afterwards. We built the habitats and things like that during the streams. And last time we ended by building the um, restaurant. But uh, just to show you... Oh, wow. Mouse is a bit sensitive. What's happening? Come on. There we go. This is better. I have to get used to this and I have to put the chat up again so I can actually see what we're doing. There we are. So um, here we have the entrance area. And it's, um, it's already quite busy in the zoo. We have 960 people. I worked a little bit on the walls here. So I made them slightly longer and put up more greens. This area had no greens in it yet. And uh, this one is now a little bit longer. Also extended the fencing here a little bit. If we uh, zoom in here, you can now see that the fence runs all the way there. Now, if I take a little look from above, you can see these are all the keepers buildings that they need for the zoo. Um, at some point soon, we will take these away from here and we will start to put them in a certain area where guests can, can't see them, where we can really hide them up and we will decorate them up as well because the guests don't like to see those. And I added this little uh, bush here. Uh, it was completely empty. 
uh, it, actually it wasn't there because I had to put this pathing in first, but we also made a bush in here. So if you enter the zoo now, what you will see, let me go to the uh, people's level. Let's go up a little bit. You enter the zoo, you get the information desk where you can get all the information and all the way around. Oops, that's the wrong button. Sorry. I always struggle a bit with the zoo camera. All around now you can see the greens and the bushes and stuff and you can take a path to go all the way around your zoo. Listening, watching and just go on in parallel now. Oh, that's great. That's great. So yeah, here we have the shrubbery. Then here, for all those that haven't watched the zoo yet, we've built the Malayan tapirs. So here they actually are. I'll unpause for now so we can see everybody move. We made a custom fence, made some rocks here. And these are having a great time in here. Then after them, or behind them, I have to say, we have the sun bears and the binturongs. Funny creatures. They have a, quite a large habitat and they enjoy themselves in it. There goes a bear straight up the tree. That looks so cool. You play Planet Coaster? No, I haven't played that yet. Maybe I will at some point. I don't know. Right, I didn't do a lot of work there. I just... Uh, Oh, I did put up a few um, bins here and there to keep the zoo a bit clean. Now, here are our tortoises areas. Here's the um, Aldabra, a giant tortoise. Busy making a lot of babies. Here are the Galapagos giant tortoises. Who have been even more busy making a lot of babies. So, yeah, it's getting quite busy in these habitats. And now another Galapagos is expecting offspring. Oh, boy. They should name them rabbits or something like that. This is not good. Um, but maybe, Gavin, I will get into Planet Coaster. That will be fun. Did you make soap on the turtles? I did not make soap on the turtles, but... Uh, well, you can see her. She's even tired from all of this hard uh, baby making. And I think she's expecting again. Oh, this is the guy. Oh, he must be tired too then. She should be expecting again. Yeah. Offspring. Oh, boy. Well, we're going to get rid of a few at some point. So we have these bushes up now. The whole entrance area is uh, is now somewhat clear. Lots and lots of decorations up there. And I was working on this little restaurant. Now we had to power it, so I did that. I built a uh, solar power and some fencing. We're going to put this in the green so that you don't see it that much. What I did do is finish this piping here. This piping alone took me like 15 minutes to finish because um, there's not a lot of piping in here. If I go here to like, I believe I typed in train or something like that. Oh, I don't actually know the... Uh, what was the English word for this again? I have to find that. The gutter. Yeah, that's what I typed in. These are all the items that you have for the gutter and it, uh, it was a bit of a struggle to get it like this but it, I ended up doing it and I then also did it on this side. So we have the gutter now, that works. So we now have to continue decorating this structure hole up and then uh, see where we can go from there. Tiger! Ooh, that could be one, that could be one. That is, that's fine, that's cool. But uh, we were first busy with this. Um, all right. Uh, all right, I'll just give you all the chance to vote again. I'm not going to write a whole poll. Oh, maybe I can do that because it's a quick one. Start a poll. Do you want me to start working on the restaurant or should we start working on a tiger habitat? Start the poll. You guys decide. It's up to you now. Hey, Jonathan. Nice of you to join us. How are you? I hope all is good. All right, so we can continue on the restaurant. I have to put a door in, some stuff in front here, because this stone doesn't look good. It doesn't look like a counter and stuff. I think my China capture card is lost in the mail. Last location was out of PO in Nashville, heading somewhere. Not sure where it is. Oh, that's sorry to hear. I hope it still comes to you so uh, you can start streaming. I have to do some more stuff on the outside here. Let's see, while the chat is running, of course, I can see if we can get something like an air vent and stuff like that. Oh, we should also have an airco decoration somewhere, I believe. I don't know where if that's in here or some. Oh, here. There it is. 
I think we should get an air conditioning up in the restaurant. All right, one on each side, I guess. That could be good. So we have air conditioning there. That should be a thing. Ah, Jonathan doing good. That's nice. That's nice. Oh, is Jessica becoming a part of our Discord? That's so cool. All right, let me check the poll so far. 13 votes. Ooh, a little bit more for the restaurant than for the tiger. Okay, that's interesting. I actually did not expect that, but uh, fine by me. I'm just going to work on the restaurant while the poll runs a bit longer, and then we can see what we'll do. Uh, I think what we need is some sort of a plank right now to... Uh, Roof. No, 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 no. This is all not good. Well, this could actually... Oh, but these aren't free move. That's the problem. That's it. Oh, maybe we can use this. No, I need a wider plank. Um, Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? That seems like a door. Ah, zoo plank. Four meters. That should be somewhat the right length. Can we change the color on this? No. That's so unfortunate because I want to change the color on it. Oh, maybe we can place this somewhere here. Uh, let's hit X. Let's see how this looks if we put this in. Because this has the same look as the um, counters that we have here. So this could actually work if we do it like this. And then just put it in a bit like this. And then it just looks like an extension of their own counter. And if we do it like this, I don't mind. Could also just set it up a bit like this so that you really see it. Have to move it over a bit then, I guess. No, we can leave it like this. Uh, Alright, what I'm going to do is this and then... Slide it over a little bit so that it's covering the rest of the area too. Yes. Then we're going to go all the way here and do the same. Yes. And then a bit to the front. Yes. Oh, I actually like this. Now it's, people can stand here and we can see how this goes. All right. It's now 50-50 for the restaurant and the tiger habitat. Oh, that makes it tough. 14 votes. There's 19 people watching, I believe. So there should be a couple more votes in. All right, let's do this, then uh, copy it, and then we'll rotate it, and then we have to put it up here as well. But I'm also going to change this up a bit, but I want this to look kind of the same. Not too much, but kind of. Yeah, we'll put it up something like this. But this is not really a counter. The people can go here and here to actually use it as a counter. So I want to decorate this up with some... I don't know. Um, prop centerpieces. I think we have to go... look. Yeah. I don't think this is what I'm looking for. But it could be something like that. We're going to put it up here as a... Uh, decoration. Some wooden stuff. Is there actually... Oh, let's go all the way up and then we can slow, slowly go down. Something that makes this look a little different. Sometimes it's a bit of a struggle to, uh, to find the right decoration that you want to use. I mean, this is not something that we're going to use up here, of course, because that doesn't look like fun. But that's basically the whole idea. We're going to put something in there. Maybe if we go to fences... No, this is not what I'm looking for. Oh, this could be something. Oh, this could actually be something. But this is not the right size, I think. Hmm, why can't I? Oh, maybe we can do this and then... So you can still peek through, but that's it. Can we change the colors? No. 
Let's go to architecture and then the wall and find if there is a piece that I am looking for. I believe there's some sort of wooden piece that you can really look through. But I don't know where it is, actually. No, it's not there. It's not here. Probably not in here, too. That's glass. That's the rest of the wood. Yeah. Structural props. That could be it. Sorry, it takes a bit. That's sometimes a struggle in this game. That You really have to search. Tiger, tiger. Oh, we now have votes for the tiger. All right. All right. Then we'll switch soon enough. Let me just finish this little... Oh, this could be something, by the way. But I don't think it's the right size. That we can work on. That's okay. We'll go switch to the tiger habitat soon then. Let me just finish this up. Can't find an accessible staff room with space. Yeah, I think we need a bigger staff room for our people, but uh, that'll be done soon. Can I change the colors on this? Oh, I actually can. Okay, apply. Now it has a little bit more of a metal look, and I think I like that. And if we just put this in like this, and then... Maybe as far to the front as possible. Yes. And then somewhat like this. This gives it a little bit more of a uh, closed off look, even though it is still open. And if we zoom out and do the same to the top. Then you know this is not really a counter. But it's still open, so it gives, still gives you the open kitchen feel. Oh, we can't find an accessible one because there's no road attached here. All right, let's build a staff path here. So that at least they can get out and we can fix this later. There we go. Now we should be able to. I'm planning on buying on the next year so that it's going to cost about 6,000. Oh, what are you going to buy? I have an AMD graphics card. You don't need a capture card. But I guess you have Nvidia. <laughs> it also depends a bit on what you want, I guess. Alright, I'm going to copy this one now. Sorry, people. We're going to go to the tiger habitat in a minute. I have to finish this now, now that I have everything present here. One, two. Yep, there we go. Very good. Now let's put this in. I kind of like the whole tea theme idea with this. So yes, and then we're going to go all the way here. And yes, so now we've changed up the restaurant a bit. It gives a bit of a more modern, interesting look, I guess. Well, mama has gone. Take me to lunch. So see you all later. Okay, enjoy your lunch, Edge. Have a great time. Thanks for showing up. We'll see you again soon. All right. Oh, we have the ACs up. That's nice. So for now, this restaurant is fine. Let's go switch to Tiger. I'm going to use this for this case. Tiger. Bengal tiger, the giant tiger, land snail, or the Siberian tiger? Oh, I wonder. This guy probably... No, oh, it doesn't need... Rem 705. One male, one female. And then they need around 800. And if we get kits, we need around 1,000. And if we do the other tiger, the uh, Bengal tiger, it's the same. Okay. Siberian or Bengal, people? Let me know. Siberian or Bengal tiger? I don't mind. As long as I know which one. And we have to decide where it goes. Interesting. This area is not ready yet, so it's going to take a lot of time if we want to put it up there. Plus, I want people to get into the zoo and see some animals and then maybe go to the tiger. Um, should it go here then? I don't know. Let's check what the fencing needs are. Great three, climb roof. Three meters. Okay. Does not have any water requirements. Okay. Dangerous fighting due to incorrect sex ratio with the sun bears. I guess there's too many. Uh... Oh man, look at all these tortoises. 
And there's even more of those. Oh boy. Oh, this one is very thirsty. Dehydrated. Welfare. Why is its welfare so low? Enrichment. They need more enrichment. But I'm just going to get rid of a couple of these. Because that will help them get to the enrichments. Because now there's just way too many. Sent to the trade center. Move to the trade center. They're all going to be traded out. Um, I was checking something, but now I forgot. They can't go with any other animals. That's a big surprise. Siberian, Siberian, Siberian. All right, we're going to go with the Siberian tiger. I think... Let's pause. We could try and put it in here. Make a big habitat. I think I want to go like very rocky in the back. But also get some elevation in there. So that the tiger... Um, really can climb on a hill or something like that. And I guess I also want to put in a um, like kind of moat or something like that so that we uh... let's just go take the road this way and it be connected out there no all right so now we can remove this road they'll be happy All we have to do is start setting up a null barrier first so that we can decide if the habitat is big enough that I have in mind. So let's just start off right here. Let's go. And once we have this kind of set, I think we might actually be able to start maybe somewhere here. Once we have that set, we can go and start digging the moat and, and start planning the whole habitat. But I want to get a little bit of elevation and stuff in there. I think that will be nice. And of course it should not be perfectly straight because habitats aren't perfectly straight. And I don't mind it being a little bit uh, bigger than the thousand that it needs. I just want it to have a great happy habitat. Too short. Oh. oh well, we'll just do it like this. There we are. Alright, let's put in a door here so that they can reach it. Let's build a staff path so that the staff can reach it. Or just a normal path, that's fine too. Build a fridge so the Siberian tiger can get some snow. We can actually put in some snow in the habitat with some snow makers, so that's fine. How big is this? Oh, this is twice the size it needs to be, so that's good. And I like that. Now let's start working on the terrain for a bit. I wonder... I, I actually don't know if we can raise all of this land. No, see? Because of the um, barrier, I think. But I don't know for sure. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to edit the barrier. Just from right up here. And we're going to delete the back wall barrier. And see if this helps us to actually raise the terrain here a bit more. No. Okay. Well, at least... We can get it up a bit. Wow, that's maybe a bit too much, but... Uh, should go a little bit softer on this tool. Computer brand I'm playing on is from Digital Storm. Ah, okay. I don't know. I don't know anything about computers and stuff. If you want to know computers and stuff, you probably better talk to Roadhog. He knows his stuff. I don't know. So, And if you have suggestions for this little habitat, feel free to let me know and to do some suggestions. That's fine by me. I think we have to raise it quite high all the way to the back so that he can't really get behind there. Maybe we have to put up some sort of fencing up here too so that he, uh, the animal actually can't really get up here. Like he should not be able to get behind here. So that's that's basically the thing. And I want the people to always be able to, uh, to see our little animal here. So I guess if we do it a bit like this, we ensure that they can always see him for a bit. Alright, let's see if we can smoothen things out a bit. So that it looks a bit better. Add a little river pond. Yeah, I think that should be in the front. Like a little river or something like that. I guess this is the end of the... Uh, 
this is where the next barrier should be. So let's raise this up. Yeah. All right, so we can walk up here. This is already higher than the people, but it could still be a little bit higher, I guess. And we should really work on the terrain a bit more here and there. Yes. All right, let's smoothen it out just a bit. Okay, well, this is not too bad. Yeah, okay, this is okay. Let's edit the barrier. And then we're just going to uh, continue from here on out, I guess. We'll go all the way up here. And I guess we somehow have to ensure that he doesn't get into the... Uh, get out here. So that could be something too. Now what I would like to do... But that means we still have to edit the barrier for a bit. Is edit. Yes. Oh, now it's all the way somewhere in the middle there. What happened there? I was going to put it up there. This is not right. Alright, something is off here. Let's fix that. Um, delete. That's better. We can just put behind here, apparently. That's probably better. Can't really go up there. We'll fix that. We'll put up some sort of a barrier there so that he can't get out. Just put up some walling or something. But I want to dig a moat here around the habitat. But to do that, we have to make sure that the... the um, What's it called? The um, barrier is gone. Otherwise, we can't really do that. So what I would like to do is use the sand. But I don't think we can do that right now while we have the barrier active. So let's see if I can actually make the barrier active and then edit the terrain. Yes. I'm going to point out where the barrier will be with the sand. And then we can dig the moat in front of that while we remove the barrier. And if we dig the moat on the edge of this sand, we know where the barrier is going to be and we can place that barrier later. That's probably the best solution for now. So now we know where the barrier is going to be. Let's edit it. Let's get this whole stuff out because that's where the moat's going to be. Delete. Now we can actually make the moat without any problems with the barrier. So let's go down. Let's push. Let's make this slightly bigger. Uh, I think the moat should then be all around, I guess. He needs a three meter high fence. That's what it said, if I'm correct. Yes, and it needs to be climb proof. Now, I have no clue how deep this is, but there are ways to find out. Let's go here. And let's go to a wall. Doesn't really matter which one. But we're just going to pick a two meter. Uh, would you be really, I really want to do a wall. That's usually better to see it. There we go. Let's rotate this. And now we're going to put this under the ground. Now, this is exactly two meters this is one meter high uh, so if I can just put this on here we now have oh this is already a four meter high wall I guess yes okay so if we dig the moat as deep as that it will be actually slightly too deep hmm that's a bit overkill I guess Let's start with this, two meters. Let's put the one meter up on top. And then we'll move this down. Why is it in steps now? I don't want to use those steps. Grid size four meters, grid height two meters. We'll make the grid height one meter. All right, now it's barely under the ground. So this is three meters deep. So now we can dig the moat. It will then be three meters deep if we do that correctly. Go on. Find me the bottom here. Have to work the area around it a little bit. There we are. Yes. Slightly too deep. So we can raise it slightly. And now we can do flatten to the foundation. Gonna make this a little bit smaller. 
but now it will be slightly more than three meters deep and now we can just dig one moat straight up to this area and then this will be a three meter deep moat we can use for our plans so this should in theory work out properly because now it can't climb out on this side so and then we'll smoothen the edges soon enough if that works but this should be how you do this because now the moat should be deep enough to prevent the tiger from coming up now we'll be placing a little wall on this side of course to keep the public behind it and that should help out to oh now we're not deep enough anymore i guess are we no we're not deep enough see it needed to be slightly deeper there we go right all the way up here to the fence and then see now now the fence is up here and you can immediately see we can't get close anymore so we still have to edit the barrier let's get rid of this door and the fencing here it's a bit hard these things in the game but in the end if you work with this and do this this way you do get the nicest habitat so that's why i really try to work with this because these are the nicest habitats now the only thing i am actually a little bit worried about right now is that the tiger can simply jump this so we have to make sure that this is deep enough or we can fill this with water but i don't know if the tiger can actually swim let's make sure it's deep enough so let's pull this all the way through yes one final check we take this we copy it we put it down here and we check is this deep enough uh see it's now a little bit above the ground so it's not completely three meters so it should be slightly deeper on this side but there might be just a little bit of a hill in here and that's why that could have happened or we just need to keep see now we're shaving the terrain off a little bit more so let's continue with that it comes quite precise because otherwise the target will escape of course and that is just not what we want now we can see it's deep enough so that works that's great let's keep going there we are good all right so now we can see there's some space underneath if we copy it now we put it down that's the difference oops and that should be the correct height so there we are all right let's delete all of this this is great can a tiger swim i think so but it doesn't say here that it has any water requirements species is endangered i don't know we're not gonna take the chance anyway now let's smooth out the terrain a bit so that it looks a bit nicer because i don't really like these bumps in here don't appear we can take them completely out but also feel like this raises the terrain a bit so that might be an issue but um, okay well we'll see okay if we put this high enough it takes the bumps out yeah it does okay very good very good tigers are a very good swim yeah so we're not going to fill this with water we're going to keep it this way and then just hope it's good enough and otherwise we'll have to fix it all right this looks better now now do the same on this side uh, i think this should be good especially if we uh, put up some fencing on this side still then i think we should be okay because i think then the tiger may be able to jump across but still not completely get in here so i wonder why this is not smoothing out the way i want it to but okay we'll, we'll be fine we'll be fine yeah tigers are a very good swim yeah i need to keep that in mind i guess 
Hmm, that's a bit hard. But we'll see. Alright, so this is going to be the Tiger Island now. And, um... Cool. I actually like it. I think there should be something of a fence here. Yes, let's edit the barrier. Let's continue here. And work our way... Uh, to the edge of the moat, I guess, so that people can't really stand on the edge. Now, the problem will be the pathing here, because there's already a path there, right next to it. So, we might just have to delete that path and make a wider path there, so that people can watch both animals there. Let's first get this fencing up again. Now, this will all count as the habitat for the um, tiger, so it should have plenty of space. There we go. And now we put the door in again. Can we still do that here? Probably not. But if we move this one a bit. And we move this one a bit. We might actually be able to. And now I can already hear some of you say, but now they can't get in. No, that's true. But we'll fix that soon enough. Uh, let's go. Let's move this forward a bit. Because, of course, if we place the door here now, if that actually does work out at some point, because apparently that's a struggle. Uh, let's move this one. Yes. Can I now place a door somewhere? I can place the door inside. I can't place it outside. What's this weird stuff? Terrain too uneven for placement. Alright, then we'll place a door somewhere else. We have to make sure that the keepers can get in somehow. Oh, I think it's placed too close to the edge there. Oh boy, I hate this. Come on. Work with me for a bit. Yep, that fixes it. Okay, there we are. Had to just get away a little bit more from the pit. Okay, there they go. Now the keepers will have to get in here. So we have to fill this up. So we have to make sure for some good walling out here. So that the animals can't really get there. Uh, but we can make some sort of a little tunnel here that enters the habitat. So I guess... What I have to do now is fill this up again or build a bridge here. Oh, I think I'm going to build a bridge of some sort here soon. That could be interesting. All right, so this will be the habitat. How big is it now? 2,000 square meters. Oh, that should be fine. That should be fine. Uh, Let's see. If you fill the ditch with water, fill it with lots of electric eels. They'll probably keep the tigers away from the water. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that works, but uh, could be something. Could be something. All right, let's go start to work on the um, actual um, barriers here. The walling. I highly doubt we can build a normal wall up. Uh, a barrier up here, but... I'm actually thinking right now what we should do is edit the barrier. I have an idea, but it requires a bit of change again. All right, let's go here. Let's delete. And now we're going to build resistance grade five. Dilipidation rate high. Opeka not climbable. That's what we want. So we basically want this wall up here. We can make it a bit longer. This is the wall that will prevent the tigers from getting in and out. Now, if we put this up here, you'll be thinking like, hey, but they can just jump over that. And that's totally true. But we're going to fix that. We are going to fix that. Because what we can do is select a certain piece, like right these, and then raise their height. So that they will be high enough to actually keep the tigers in. And these walls look the same as the outer walls we are creating right here. So I think this could actually work because now the tiger can't jump out. 
and we are protected. We just have to hope it doesn't fall in here. So what we could do maybe... Can I select the whole piece and then move it a bit? Yeah. Okay, that works. Um, let's go with that. No, not that one. Not that one. Let's get back here. And, oh, where's that button? Right here. Let's go back to this one. And this one. And now we move this forward as well. So it goes up to the actual mountain, maybe. Oh, but that's a bit too far up the mountain. All right, there we go. Now it's on top of the mountain. Only these are not, so that might be a thing. If we can put this on top of the mountain, we should also be able to uh, lower it again. Why are you moving forward? Please tell me. We should now get these three a little bit more forward, I guess. Yeah, there we go. All right, now they're all on top of the mountain, so that works. All right. Now we can lower this a bit. I think that will make it look better if it's just slightly lower. Yeah, it's a bit too high for the tiger. Okay, there we go. Let's do the same with these now. I shared a link in Discord for the PC that I wanted and kind of expensive. Yeah, computers can be quite expensive. But uh, be sure to uh, to ask Roadhog about it. He knows his stuff with these things, so um, he can give you some advice and stuff. All right, so we have the walling up now, I guess. So that should keep the tigers in, at least from the backside. How tall is an elephant? A tiger can jump up on the back of an elephant. Yeah, well, it says in the game here that a, a, the wall needs to be three meters high and not climbable. And this is now four meters high and not climbable. So this should be enough. And if not, we'll find out soon enough and we'll do something about it. I actually kind of think that maybe we should... I th should be able to just click these two pieces and also turn them into bricks. See? Now this might just be making this area a little bit more safe. I think it is actually. How high is this? Two meters? Let's get this a little up over three meters. Yes. Okay, that works. Then I guess we should do the same with this. Wow. Never thought getting a tiger in our zoo would be so hard work. Uh, let's turn this into bricks and raise this also up to a little over three meters. So yeah, the guest won't be able to see it. But um, we should be safe to get in and out. And even if the tigers get to this area, uh, they still have an area here that we have to worry about. So we'll think about it. Only one meter is over the floor. No, no, no. This is more than a meter. Look at how tall these people are and how tall the wall is. Uh, this should be good. Um, I think this part also needs to be brick. Then we're safe. Because here already the moat starts. So then they can't really get around it. So now we should be safe. Looks quite impressive, I have to say. It looks really big. Use glass for the rest. Yeah, maybe. I was thinking a like a one meter high glass thing and, and then decorate that up a bit. But I was actually going to think about uh, roofs and floors to first get working on a floor here so that we can bridge this gap. Because I think we have to do that at some point. Uh, let's see. We have to bridge this gap so that the keepers can walk over it and get into the habitat. 
somewhat like this. All right, let's... Can we... Uh, oh, we can only move it a little bit, not too much. Can we raise and lower it a bit? Yes. Width size 4 meters. Let's get back to 1 meter. That might be better. All right, if we do it like this, they should easily be able to get over. The tigers as well, but that should be okay. And then at least we can enter it with our tigers might be uh, useful that the tigers can actually uh, get in and out do I get some columns here one meter two meter is two meter high enough no we need the four meter one I'll just put it up here and then we'll just move it straight down Um, let's do X, then go down. So this is the support for the actual bridge. Oops. Yes, that's one. Okay, so now the bridge is supported. Interesting. Thanks, Quirky. Good suggestion. It's ended now. <laughs> just to make sure that we keep working on the uh, tiger habitat, I guess. All right, so now it's down to the rest of the fencing, which I guess should be glass. Have to find the right glass, and then we can start to work with it. Ah, uh, that doesn't give me tiger vibes. Now, sometimes these icons, I think, are a little bit small. You can't really see what you're getting into. One meter by two meter, one meter by four meter. Now, these are big panels. I think we can work with this. But it needs a bit of a tiger feel to it, I think. So it needs to be somewhat sturdy. I mean, these are nice big blocks of glass that we can put around. But we need some, some columns and stuff attached to it. To make it look nice. Centerpieces, lights... Awnings and facades, wall decorations, roofs and floors, doors and windows, columns. Okay, let's see. Pure transparent glass, nothing fancy. Yeah, you mean like this. But then I think we need to, uh, to deco this up a bit. Now we have these. And since we have also the... Um, Oh, that could actually work. I think this is too long, though. This is the two meter one. Oh, but the columns are four meters long. So what we could do is get something like this going. So that it fits the background of the... Of, of, so it fits the whole habitat. I think that's, that's an important thing. So let's go like this. Let's lower it a bit more. Something like this. And then, of course, we get these small columns to the side. No, 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 no. Get the long one in there. Yes. And then we can put these on the side. Have to put it in perfectly, of course. Because I think this fits with the um, with the actual habitat if we do it like this. So this could just be the simple piece. Maybe we can find a little thingy that we can put up on there. But that could also just be a distraction. Rumi says make a tiger restaurant. A giant building full of hungry tigers. And the patrons are the food. <laughs> well, maybe at some point we can make something of an unethical zoo. But... Um, I don't think right now that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Special effects, no centerpieces. No, because that are all the big things. Lights, signs. Oh, we're gonna keep it at this for now. Alright, who's happy with the fence? I think I am. I mean, this just looks like a nice fence that suits the actual um, habitat. 
And that is kind of important to me. And we can just... Uh, oh, Let's get the angle snap off. It will be a bit hard here because of the... Uh, grass and stuff. And the little icons there. I don't really like the um, how the um, whole flooring ended up with the... Um, land work that we did. I still have to work on those skills a bit more. But now when you come up, you come up to this and this is what you're going to look at. Oh, they might need to be raised a little bit more soon. And I need to rotate it a bit. It's always so much work to... Uh, put things in correctly but we'll get there yes okay let's go this needs to be rotated oops sometimes you misclick a bit and you hit the wrong buttons and stuff like that no I wanted to hit X not move down Okay, but I always do think it adds a lot like if you use the environment that you're creating and you keep pulling that through. If I do like a wooden fencing now, I think it would just feel off and trying to keep things a bit in line for me always, I don't know, maybe it's just my brain that uh, likes that, but um, I really tend to enjoy that more. Now it's it's actually a bit like it's it's matching and it's it's the, the the thing it should be. Okay, there we go. A little bit more out. It's always tough when you rotate these to put them in nicely. Put thing incorrectly. Put thing in correctly. I don't know what you mean. Sorry. <laughs> Probably my bad English. And I'm probably way too serious with this now that I forget that people joke, of course, which is very good. You should all do that. And of course, I hope you're all having a great time. I've got to go now, but thanks for the enjoyable stream. It's been fun hanging out. Thanks, Catherine. Thanks for being here. Thanks for spending your precious time with us. We all love it. So we hope to see you soon again. Have a great rest of your day. And uh, thanks for being here. Thanks for the visit. We'll see you soon again. All right, now I see myself watching the tigers from up here behind the glass and just taking a look at it. The adults can peek over it. That's nice. I'll definitely be back next time. Oh, that's great to hear. That's great to hear. We love to have you. So thank you. Take care. Okay, now we have to move this a bit. Actually... I am a little bit disappointed that the tavern game ended so early. I uh, I had no clue they would end that way. They would just kind of say like, okay, this is all content. Uh, have fun with it. Bye-bye. Uh, I guess I did not play it long enough to find that out. But that's also what I like to do. Not play games too long, but find out all together on stream. So that's why that happened. But I do enjoy building this. Although right now I'm getting a bit annoyed by the long grass. So let's switch this to short grass. So the grass is not in the way all the time. Because I hate it when I'm building this. Fixing to sue myself. Get to wash some dishes and then cook etc. Okay. Well it's already a quarter past ten. And as you all know. Uh, wifey has to sleep soon. So I'll be... Uh, Streaming for not too much longer. So, um, I'll be back, of course. I mean, this is not my final stream. But yeah, I should probably uh, not go on for too long to make sure that wifey can sleep soon. 
should probably do it here too so that we get rid of that long grass so I can see what I'm doing with my habitat wall. Yeah, that's better. That's one of the weird things in this game. I mean, this is the short grass and you actually see no depth and texture in it. And then you get the long grass and you get that all in at, at, at all of a sudden. And it's actually really long. I think they should do something about that. Because that just looks just a little bit weird to me. Um, probably, if we take a look at this, we should probably move this over a bit. Because there's these big bumps here, and if the tiger can jump on it, he can then, in the end, get out. And that should not be possible, so this should really be on the edge. A bit more, I think. So, yeah, I think we should do it a bit more like this. <laughs> Uh, no, this is good. I keep hitting the wrong buttons, people. I guess I'm getting a bit tired, too. Right, there we go. So I was looking forward to the uh, big, long Manalord streams on Friday and Saturday. I know I am, because I will be playing that game then, finally. So that will be fun. I'm looking forward to it, and I will do a lot of streaming with all of you. If you're looking forward to it. I hope we can have a lot of fun with that game. Well, we always have a lot of fun with Ostriv. And I like to think that you get a lot of the same building freedoms that you get in Ostriv as well. So I'm really looking forward to it. Still very curious to hear about the pricing. Very interesting that I did not announce that yet. I'm not sure what that means. But I do want to get my hands on Mana Lords. I hope the uh, Steam servers can handle it. Because I think a lot of players will be downloading the game once it comes out. So I hope to be uh, among the earlier ones to be able to download it. And not get... Uh, wrecked by steaming steam servers that are just way too slow but uh we'll see we have no influence over that but um that's also why i won't put up a time slot for my stream on a uh, friday i can't really put a planning onto it because i don't know when the game will actually be downloaded and when i can start playing it so as soon as the game is downloading and it's almost done i will put up a notification that I will be streaming in like 10 minutes or something like that. So then you'll have your little heads up. But it probably won't be more than 10 minutes. But on the other hand, you can expect me to stream it on Friday and Saturday. So uh, if you want it, I believe the game comes out on um, around 7 p.m. Central European summertime. So that's 7 my time. That's the time that I normally stream. Today I started an hour late, of course, because we had to attend a birthday um, but around my normal stream time it should come out so then we still need time to download it and stuff so uh, we'll see I actually hope that we do get to pre-order it so uh, like on Wednesday or something like that that would be great so that we at least already bought it and then we can uh, just download it when it comes out but we'll have to see all of that I don't know and of course if you're getting the game it would be lovely if we could all play it together so i'll be streaming it of course but if you play along and we can learn things from each other and shout things to each other that would be lovely so hopefully we can do that too all right we're getting quite far now with the fencing thanks for the stream Potmas. i got to set up the discord and stumble around and figure that out oh nice nice welcome in the discord always love watching see you soon yeah see you soon I'll be watching your video after this stream, so uh, expect a like and a comment then. <laughs> Don't expect you to uh, to respond to that quickly though. Take your time with whatever you're doing. But I will be watching that. And of course, people, if you have not done so, head over to Jessica Wonder's channel. It's a great channel. A little bit different than mine because she does a lot of crazy and amazing food stuff that I could only dream of ever doing, but I don't have the skills for that. So uh, if you are into those things, and I bet you all are, of course, head over to her channel, give her a sub. 
hit that like button on our videos and enjoy watching them because it's great. What's the max you would pay for mana lords? Uh, I don't really think about it in, in that way. Like, what's the max I would pay for it? I think I would pay quite a bit of money for it because it does seem to be a good game and it seems to be promising, even though it's not complete yet. Um, I, I always think pricing for me is a bit tough in a way that... I'm going to do this a little different, by the way. We're just going to move it so that it fits like this. Yes, that's a good way to do this. All right, that fixes a lot of issues. Um, like if I get Manor Lords and if I play it on stream and we can just have a lot of fun streams about it, even if the game is not complete yet, that's worth a lot to me because that's just so great to be able to do that. And um, I don't, I don't really can put a price i mean if i would just get it for myself and have some fun time playing it for myself and that's it i would probably pay somewhere between 20 and, and 35 euros or something uh that would be acceptable for me otherwise i would just wait to see what else comes out with it what new content they will make in the future and 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 see how that goes and then see if it's worth it um but now, especially with all the streaming and all the fun I'm having with that and, and, and talking to all of you and meeting all of you all the time, I, I can't really put a price on it. I mean, I guess if even if it would be 50 euros, I would probably pay it because we have so much fun in the streams together. And I think that this will be another game that we can have so much fun with. So that will probably be uh, my idea about it. All right, I think it's time to get an actual tiger so that we can put it in and see if the habitat works and what it needs. 10 years, six years, let's get a young adult, adopt, and a young lady, adopt. We get Markov and Lara. Uh, these are all in there, that's nice, but I want these two sent to the zoo and sent them in here, there we go. All right, the tigers will be in soon, hopefully. And uh, hey, Shoriel, nice to see you. I've slept a lot today. Well, then I guess you needed it, so that's fine. That's totally no problem. I hope you had good sleeps. Still worried about this little spot here, but we'll see how that goes. What do we have here? Incorrect sects. Oh, still the sun bears are, um, are a bit of a problem. Let's go to my animals. Let's go to the sun bears. We have a lady, a male, a lady, and a male. Hmm. These two are born later, so let's get rid of these two or one. I don't know. 17, 17, 10. Um, I guess we can get the two younglings out and release them to the wild. That should fix our issues. There we are. All right, that's fixed. Now I'm a bit confused. You assess the Tavern Simulator, but it's Planet Zoo. That's true, sure. Oh, we played the um, Planet, or we played the Tavern Simulator first, uh, but it's just a demo, and I had no clue how long the gameplay would be. But after, I believe, an hour and twenty minutes, we uh, ended the game because we've played everything and I've shown everything that's in the game right now because it's still being developed. So that's why we changed, and now. Um, it's all it's planet zoo because i put up a poll like what do you all want to do and they said planet zoo so that's what we did can you get over this and get here or not let's keep our eyes on it the terrain is not as i want to be there's a lot way too much long grass oh there he goes all right let's put up some rocks here and then we're also going to put up some actual rocks i hope this tiger isn't just running to his escape but i guess we'll have to see about that and if he does We'll fix it, no problem. Let's get rid of all the long grass and get all these rocks up here. Well, that should already make things better. And I also want some smooth rocks here. I need to change this landscaping. They do like rocks, and I'm happy that we built this actual uh, hill area. I think we did quite good on that. Okay, so they can jump into the moat. That is something. I just hope they can't jump out. And maybe we have to create an area where they can actually climb up. <laughs> because now I don't know if they can actually climb up and out of the moat. 
Hmm, that's interesting. I don't think they can. <laughs> Let's fix that straight away. Um, we can do that in right here. So we can create like a little uphill area. So that they can actually just climb in and out of the moat. I guess this should already do it, but I'm not 100% sure. So we'll see. So yeah, but that's what happened with the... Um, nice um, Tavern Manager Simulator. It's actually a nice game, so if you... Uh, at some point feel up to it just head over to the beginning of the stream and watch it oh it just jumps on very good i think i'm gonna do the same here and that's going to be the end of this stream but i do want them to be able to just uh, walk in and out of the moat then so that they can actually get up yes that should do the trick let's create some extra short grass in here so that that is fixed too and then, please don't jump out of this. And I guess we can continue this Wednesday or do some Ostriff, one of the two. And then uh, we can see from there on how we how we can go and how we do. I think that'll be nice. All right, let's get some more short grass in here. Apparently, there's still a lot of long grass, although I don't really see it anywhere. So I wonder why that is, but... Uh, We'll fix it. <laughs> Better late than never. Oh, that's true. And we did miss you, so we're happy that you're here now. Oh, look at them. They're already all watching the tiger. We really should do some pathing as well. Oh, boy. I have so much work to do right now on this habitat. And it's time to stop. That's so unfortunate. But I will fix it at some point. I guess we have to do some stuff here too with this. That might work. No, this is not really lowering the... Uh, the amount of long grass. Oh well. I'll fix this later. I think I'm going to work offline a little bit on the grass and the uh, coloring of the landscape. And the whole habitat will do next time. So uh, this is going to be it. So I'm going to say thank you all for being here today. Thanks for the great fun. Already a half an hour before the actual stream started, we were in chat already chatting and having fun. That was so nice. We still have a lot of work to do on this little tiger island, but we're going to do that soon enough when I stream again. So thanks so much. I hope you all have a very good week. If you have to work, enjoy that. I hope you can really enjoy it. And um, I hope to see you all Wednesday. Maybe I can squeeze in a little extra stream, but uh, I don't know when, so we'll see about that. And um, then I hope to see you all soon again. And just thanks so much. Thanks so much for all the ongoing support, all the love you're almost giving me. And um, it, it, it's really encouraging and it's really motivating and, and I really love it. So thanks so much. You're all really amazing people. I will see you all in the Discord a couple of times this week. And we can chat and have fun there. And if I worked a bit on the habitat, I will post some pictures in the Discord so you can all see. So uh, thanks so much. Take care. Stay healthy. And uh, then it is for now. Just a bye-bye.